what's up you guys so it's your girl and today's video is brought to you by me but it's featuring Lucky hair i posted information below they sent me their 22 inch virgin brazilian straight 360 lace wig it does come with the combs in the front and in the nape along with that there's an adjustable strap i did take the time to bleach the knots of this unit and i did leave the purple shampoo on for about two hours and I also pre-plucked the hairline and styled it, of course, girl, okay? So right now, I'm just trying to see how this wig is going to fit. Do I need to cut any of the excess lace from the sides? Does, is it gonna fit properly? And I'm also trying to see, do I need to spray any of my tinting spray? Which I'm gonna be using the color beige and the tinting spray by Wig Extensions. And I'm also going to blow dry it. You can either use this product wet, like when you finish washing your wig and allow it to air dry, or you can do like I did. I actually really do like the tinting spray because it makes a world of difference and it does come in a variety of colors, plus it's really affordable. So first off, let's just talk about this lace wig. Now the hairline looks amazing. The wig is pretty. The white stuff that you see at the edges that I'm scratching off is actually some of the wax stick. So anyway, that's exactly what that is now this part right here i'm just going to use my clips just to pin the hair up because i don't want to accidentally cut anything and i'm going to just tell you guys this right off hand i was having an issue putting the wig on and it's because for one where they put the combs at that's supposed to be like by your temples they put them all the way behind the ears which was really uncomfortable and also the one comb that is at the nape of your neck was way too high up in the back. So that was an issue that I was having with the wig when I first put it on. And right here, I'm just going to cut the lace off. You know, I didn't cut off too much. I cut off the right amount of lace. So just want to let you guys know that. And just take your time doing this part because you don't want to accidentally cut too much. You know, you want to do, you do want to leave a little bit of room so that way none of the hairs at the hairline will fall out. And these scissors that I'm using right now are a small pair of curved scissors, which I actually do find a lot more easier to work with versus like big straight scissors. And I'm having a little bit of difficulty only because the wig does not fit properly or it's basically where the combs is at. So as you guys can see, this is the part where I was putting the combs in and I was trying to fight with it because they were not really even behind the ear. They was more or less up too far and too far back. So it made it a, a lot harder than normal to put on, you know, so I am trying to readjust it. And then what I started noticing on the sides, as you guys see right here, I had to keep pulling the wig down because it wasn't fitting as a medium sized cat would fit. It was going behind my hairline or basically the wig was sitting on my hairline. And you guys know you don't want any kind of glue, hairspray or gel directly on your own hairline because you don't want to snatch your edges out, girl. So as you guys see, this is the part where it got a little bit difficult for me. You know, this part, which is super easy for me, got really, really, really difficult. You know what I mean? It got real. This part kind of got real for you, girl. So I had to respray it several times because, of course, it's resting on my hairline and I have oil in my hair and things of that nature. So it definitely wasn't trying to stick down. And had I known that the unit was going to fit this way, I would have definitely moved the combs. I wasn't even sure that the combs were positioned in the incorrect spot. Had I known that ahead of time as well, I would have definitely repositioned the combs in the unit. But for next time, I'm definitely going to, you know, make sure. So I'm just using the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray. And I just spray that in between the parts. It's not on the hair, it's in between the part. You can spray it underneath if you want. And if you guys can see, the wig is sitting right there on my hairline. And you just take your blow dryer and blow dry it on cool to medium heat. Or if you don't have a blow dryer, like I always say, just, just blow dry, um, just spray in small sections the hairspray and press down with your rat tail comb and then move on to the next section once that section dries. Of course, it is gonna take a little bit longer, but the product does not take long to dry at all. Now, 
for one even though the wig doesn't fit as I would have preferred it to this hair is bomb as hell okay like the lace is nice in it the 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 knots bleach like nobody's business you know what I mean the hair quality is great and for it to be an 8a hair quality listen girlfriend the quality of the hair is really nice I will give them that just the construction of the cap and the size just needs to be you know fixed but other than that I do like the wig I especially like the way the lace is kind of like almost transparent but also you have to keep in mind make sure when you're bleaching your knots that you leave it on the correct set of time along with that you know you use your purple shampoo so instead of using gel to hold down my baby hairs or my sideburn hairs like I normally do because it was resting on my edges I wasn't about to do that as you guys can see so I just sprayed some of the hairspray and just tried the best that I could with the sideburns and the baby hairs I just really didn't want to spray too much on my own hair so you know as you see I'm a little bit frustrated but you know this was supposed to be a voiceover but you will definitely hear me speaking at the end of this video the length of it is nice I'm not really sure the density from what it seems like it should probably be about 150 density <music> you guys I really wasn't going to talk during this video it was supposed to be just a voiceover but I want to tell you one thing about this unit the hair is beautiful it's great I was really excited about it because it was a 360 you know what you say save the best for last so this was like the third video that I reviewed today and I wanted to save this one because I really wanted to rock this wig it was a 360 you know what I'm saying but come to find out the combs for one are positioned in the wrong spot okay and the wig is like not fitting properly so so it's like all the way up here. I'm not sure if I remove the combs, will that make a difference? But from what I'm noticing, it's really not because it's snug on my head. And it's not even has anything to do with the adjustable straps. But, you know, I will say for the future for this company that I hope that they make a little bit more room for their caps or just do the measurements more properly because there was a lot of lace like excess lace on the front like a lot you know it damn it damn near wiped my eyebrow off but you know give me a little bit more hair so that way it's less lace up here and more hairline because it's like resting on my own hairline and y'all know my edges are thin on this side and they've been growing back because I haven't wore a wig in like almost three months. So yes, I'm not trying to lose any more of my hair. And this one was like hell to basically apply because of the way it fit. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like the wig because it's gorgeous. It's it's straight, you know, it's long and all that good stuff, but I really wish that it would have fit more properly. I'm definitely going to take it off and hopefully I can reapply it because I did want to wear it up, like, you know, pull back some because it's a 360. Um, so that was the whole point of me saving this one for last. So, you know, but the hair quality is nice. I will give them that. I'm just not really happy with where they put the combs at in this unit. Um, even the nape one was a little bit high up too. So I'm going to have to readjust everything and see how this wig fits. The lace dyed really nice. or the knots bleached really nice. You know, I did purple shampoo it. You see me use some of my little tinting spray on it, which I really didn't need to do. But I just wanted to kind of like finagle the part a little bit. And it hooked it up, girl. But yeah, you could check them out. Other than that, you know, it's really nice. They just need to work on the, the cap construction a little bit because this will snatch out your edges if you ain't got none. Or You know what I'm saying? So on that note, all the information will be down below for you guys. I love you. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I got to go. I have other things to do. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging around, supporting my channel, all the love and support that I've received over the past couple of months. I love you all, and I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Yeah. <laughs>